Hey guys, welcome to the video on how to create this checkerboard block from the Summer Moon Block of the Month book. If you are following along with our Block of the Month, then welcome back. And if you're not and you want to purchase a kit to make the exact same quilt that I'm making in these videos, make sure you visit our website and a link linked below, JustSoStudio.com, to check it out. Um, we're just going to hop right in here. We're making the 8-inch block today. I have already created the 5 and the 6.5 inch block. So this is the one I'm going to be making in the video today. Um, it's using these three fabrics which if you are following along with our kit you can find in our fabric guide so let's hop right in okay so to start off you're going to take your printed squares and your background squares for whichever size block you're making first and you're going to put one of your background squares on the corner of your printed square and sew a diagonal line across it you can do this in a couple different ways you can draw a diagonal line on your background square or you can use diagonal seam tape like what I'm using so the way that you use the diagonal seam tape is you line it up so that the red line um, heads straight to your needle and I aim one of my corners at the needle and the other corner um, I use the red line to guide it so I didn't have to draw a diagonal line across all of my background squares so that helps save time it also makes a little bit more accurate so I'm just stitching that right across here when I'm done with this I'm gonna be doing this to all four corners but when I'm done with one corner what I have to do is trim about a quarter inch out from each of these seams that I'm creating and then iron it to the um, background side so I iron it to the white side in this um, scenario you can iron it to whichever side you want for some reason I chose to iron it to the white side this time um, and and then we're going to, you have to do that before you can sew the background square onto your other corners. Okay, so once that's all trimmed up and ironed, I can lay my second square on my next corner. And I can just proceed the same way that I did this last time. So this is what it looks like now that I have three of my corners sewn and I'm just doing my last one here. There is supposed to be about a quarter of an inch overlap and that allows for the seam allowance when you start to piece all of these squares together. Once you have all of your little squares sewn, you can lay it out at how you want it on a table, figure out which arrangement you want, and then just start sewing them together with a quarter inch seam. I like to use a quarter inch foot to sew my blocks together. Now you just want to trim them up. I'm using a rotating cutting mat here to trim up my five inch square. Um, you also wanna make sure that you still have um, room from the corners of those diamonds to the edge, um, about a quarter of an inch to allow for piecing this block to other blocks in the future once we do that. But you also want to make sure that the finished block is the size it's supposed to be. So this is supposed to be my five inch block, so I'm just trimming it down to five inches. And my rotating cutting mat makes this super easy. Okay, that's about it for this checkerboard block from the Summer Moon Block of the Month book. I hope you join us for all of our future videos. And like I said, check the description box to click on the link to see this kit in our store, JustSoStudio.com.